Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG in short is a technique for increasing the accuracy and reliability of AI models with facts fetched from external sources. OpenAI now supports RAG which means that now you can attach your own files, your own documents to OpenAI Assistant and talk to your documents with GPT-4 model. The tool which does this in OpenAI is called as file search as you can see on your screen. File search augments the GPT-4 model with knowledge from outside such as your own company's data or your personal document. In this video, I am going to show you how to create such assistant with file search on your custom data locally with code and I will be using VS code for it. Before I show you the code, these are the files which are currently supported with this assistant and you can see there is a lot of choice. You can have text files, you can have HTML files, you can have markdown, Python files, PHP, Ruby, text plane, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript and the list goes on and on. You can even have PowerPoint with it. And now let me show you the console of my open a assistant. As you can see, I don't have any assistant. So we will be creating the assistant from the scratch. And this is my VS code. Let me first walk you through this code. And before that, make sure that you have installed open AI's uh, module, the latest one. So if you don't have it, simply do pip install open AI dash dash upgrade and that will make sure you are using the latest one. Okay, let me frame it down. Also, as is with the case with OpenAI, you would need the OpenAI's API key and you would need to set it in your environment like uh, export OpenAI underscore API underscore key and your key from platform.openai.com and that is a paid version. So let me tell you what exactly I'm saying to export OpenAI underscore API underscore key is equal to and then your key which you will obtain from platform.openai.com okay so let's suppose you already have set it now let's start from the top as what exactly this code is doing first i'm importing openai i'm instantiating openai's client and then i'm simply declaring a new assistant now i'm just defining a personal assistant and i will be using a simple txt file which is a data.txt where i have put in my own information about my channel and who i am where i live all that sort of stuff in assistant the name is personal assistant there are some instructions that you are an empathetic uh, assistant and use your knowledge base to answer the questions model is gpt4 and tool is file search because i'm going to do the rack then i'm creating the vector store now in rack what happens is you take your own custom data whatever the format is you chunk it and then after chunking it you store it in the form of numerical representation or embedding into your vector database the beauty of this OpenAI RAG is that you don't have to do any chunking, any pre-processing, nothing to do with any embedding model or embedding or storage or you know, don't have to do anything. This will do automatically everything for you. As soon as you uh, put your data in, it will chunk it, it will convert it into embedding and it will store it into this vector store. And this is how you define your vector store. I'm just calling my vector store personal data. Now this is important part. I am saying that expire my vector store after one day. So make sure if you just are playing around with it, you don't keep it because otherwise the cost could be a big. The cost for the first GB is free, but for every subsequent GB, you will be charged 10 cents per GB per day. So that could get out of hand pretty quickly. And I will also show you how you can double check that you have deleted it afterwards from the console. Okay, so I am just defining the vector store here and then if you see here, I'm just uploading my data.txt and I'm just opening it in the file stream and then I am uploading it and polling it that, okay, my file is uploaded. So it will just make sure that it uploads and poll it and when it finishes, then it will move on. So my file is stored here in this vector store and all the chunking, embedding, storing is done by this point. And we can also put in our status and the name of the file and all that stuff. And now here I'm defining the assistant. So assistant is simply the way I'm going to call the tools from OpenAI. 
and the tool which i'm going to use is for rag file search and i'm also giving it my vector store where my data is and between user and your assistant there is a thread which makes it easy to use this application and here i am in this new thread i am specifying the tool i'm using is file search and the same vector store it will also get attached to it if you don't do it you can also uh, just use a new vector store with this thread instead of defining it in the assistant and before it so, but i'm just using it here and uh, prompt which i'm passing is at who is fahad birza it is going to use this prompt to get into my own data which is in data.txt file and then return me the result because otherwise of course upt4 doesn't have any idea who i am so there i am just doing a simple you know i'm printing it out then i'm running the thread which is exec actually executing all that stuff and then i'm listing uh, I'm, I'm getting the message out and then i'm just going into the message getting the annotations as where it is getting the data and then i'm printing out the response so let me run this good <clears throat> by so i'm just going to just simply by open a rack let's run it it is api based call so there will be some latency of course there you go so it has created file count so there is one total no field nothing and this is my um, file search this is my vector stores id and then you see that it has gone into my uh, data.txt and given me this response and it has also told me that citation that okay so it has taken it from citation 0 and citation 0 is data.txt my own file so it is talking to my own file and it has tell me that who i am that i'm youtuber i'm based in sydney australia and what exactly my youtube channel does ai cloud and all that stuff and it has really um you know narrated it in its own word so this is how you can do the rag with open ai now you can delete this assistant and uh, all that stuff from the code but let me show you how you can uh, do it from a console it's the same thing so this is a console let me refresh the page there should be some personal assistant there you go so this is my personal assistant if i click on it you can see that downwards it is using this file search tool it's not using code interpreter and my if i click on this vector store it is telling me that this is my vector store and it will be expired after one day i can add more from the console and i can detach it from this assistant and attach it to any other one there uh, not they're totally uh, decoupled now in order to delete it let's click on this delete button let's, let's delete the assistant it is done but the thing is deleting the assistant is not going to delete your file and vector store for that click on storage now in the files just click on your data.txt this is my file which has the data let's click on delete file file is gone you see that there is also a tab of vector stores here let's click on vector store and now this is your vector store which still persists so make sure you delete it otherwise you are going to be charged for it if it is um, more than one gp first gp is free this is still showing me one cent but i think it is for only after first gp anyway let's delete it click on delete vector store and this is hopefully also gone there there you go so no storage and no assistant so i'm good so that's it guys this is how you can do rag in open ai very new tool and also you can do retrieval of up to ten thousand files you can also control the token you can have json mode you can have uh, tool choice and much more and of course you can have custom models too that's it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this file search in beauty's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps us thanks for watching